This is a very special prototype, the Mercedes-Benz Vision EQXX, a battery electric vehicle that was developed to achieve a range of 1,000 kilometers on a single charge. To prove that this isn't just marketing speak, Mercedes decided to take it on a trip, traveling from Sindelfingen in South Germany, where one of the biggest Mercedes factories is located, across the Swiss Alps and northern Italy to its destination of Cassis on the French Côte d'Azur. The journey was undertaken at regular road speeds, including fast lane cruising at up to 140 km an hour on the German Autobahn and near the speed limit elsewhere. The long-distance drive was completed with the charging socket sealed and accompanied by an independent expert from German certification agency TÜV. Upon completing the journey, the EQXX's battery was down to 15%, with an estimated range of around 140 km still available. But how is such a range even possible? To achieve such high ranges with an electric car, you of course need to have a low air resistance. And that car has a drag coefficient of 0.17, which is even better than the 0.2 they expected when they started developing the car. On a regular long distance drive, a typical electric vehicle dedicates almost two thirds of its battery capacity to cutting its way through the air ahead. There are of course quite a lot of things you need to take into account when building a car with such low air resistance. One thing is the rims right here, they have no opening so the air can flow freely. And the other thing is, for example, those tires. They have a very low rolling resistance and that way you will also have lower consumption. Down here you have the battery of the EQXX. Now you would expect Mercedes to put in a bigger battery to achieve that 1000 kilometers, but they didn't. The battery itself has around 100 kilowatt hours of energy. And despite that, it is 30% lighter than the batteries you have in nowadays cars and even 50% smaller. They achieved this by working together with the guys over from Formula E and they expect such types of batteries to come into series cars by 2024-2025. What we're showing here is something that we're going to see in series production in about two to three years from now. So in the next generation, for example, of compact cars, we're going to see exactly this battery and this e-drive motor, so in real serious production. A more important factor for the range is of course the consumption and Mercedes managed to bring it down to below 10 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers and that's a very good figure if you consider that the average electric car is somewhere around 15, 20 kilowatt hours. 10 kilowatt hours, that's really good. I mean, what can you do with 10 kilowatt hours? For example, you could have three minutes of light in a football stadium or you could watch 100 hours on your 50 inch LED TV at home. With exactly 8.7 kilowatt hours on offer, the prototype set a new benchmark. On the roof of the original prototype, there are solar panels that will provide energy for an additional 25 kilometers, which I think is a really cool idea. The EQXX has more to offer than just incredible consumption and range. The interior also holds some surprises. So we see a huge screen here, 48 inch screen, a uh, seamless screen. It's not pieces of screens, it's one seamless screen from pillar to pillar, uh, even loaded with a game engine, which we know out of the gaming industry, which is now implemented, for example, here in navigation, which will lead to a whole new experience world of a driver. With an 8K resolution, the thin, lightweight mini LED display can perform seamless zoom and scroll functions. It can go from satellite perspective to as close as 10 meters in the 3D city view. Of course, it can also show the driver a detailed visual representation of their energy consumption. My time with the EQXX is over and I really like the car. It's cool that Mercedes does such projects because the technology that they develop will then someday come into serious production cars and that way everyone will profit from it. Let's talk aerodynamics. A reduction of just 0.01 in drag coefficient adds around 2.5% to the range of an electric car. 
The drag coefficient on modern cars ranges between 0.25 and 0.40. But with the Vision EQXX, Mercedes has managed to build a car that is more aerodynamic than an American football. Now that's something.